Hey guys, Sock here from Sock Ticket. In today's video, we are going to be talking about a brand new update for our Samsung Galaxy smartphones that brings in some insane features. This level of customization is just mind boggling. So let's dive in. And first, let me quickly show you what I'm talking about. Now I'm going to pull down my notifications panel. And as you can see, there's really nothing happening right over here. All I'm seeing is a new voicemail notification but there's nothing else going on in my notifications panel okay now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna launch my youtube application okay i'm just gonna go over here and search for something and play a video so let's type on this one here okay i'm gonna tap on this now we have a video playing now i'm gonna pull down the notifications panel and see that there is something at the bottom we have a silent notification it's saying youtube 60 is running the motion smoothness and the screen resolution had been adjusted uh, to 60 hertz and full high definition plus automatically. Now, when I exit the application, okay, let me exit out. I'm going to pull this down one more time and see what happens. That thing has disappeared. So as I launch the application, my motion smoothness goes from 120 hertz to 60 hertz, instantly saving me battery life. And then when I exit the application, I go back to my smoothness so I can continue enjoying uh, the nice and smooth effects on my phone. So first of all, let me show you how to grab this update. All you wanna do is click the link down below. It's gonna take you to my website. You scroll down just a little bit, okay? Right next to download, you click on the link. It's gonna take you to the latest Bixby routine service. At the bottom, you'll see update, just tap on it and you'll be good to go. Now, let me show you how to get this done. And also let me show you thousands of other possibilities available using this option. Now, I do wanna give a huge shout out to my buddy on Twitter. Uh, his name is Adam Beltran. He's the one that made me aware of this brand new update. If you guys have any tips and tricks, send them over, I'll get you guys a shout out in a video. So here's what I did, I go to my settings, okay? I scroll down just a little bit, and then I go into my advanced features. From there, I can go to, go to Bixby routines. Now with the latest updates, I can do things like this. So let me show you, this is the current routine that I had enabled. So it was running in the background, auto activates when I launched a YouTube application. Just one example. So let me delete this and recreate this so you can get the idea of what I'm talking about, okay? Uh, I'm gonna tap on plus, Okay, make sure you go to my routines at the bottom, tap on plus, if add a trigger plus, okay, I'm going to go down, uh, tap on app opened, and then pick an application that you want to activate this trigger uh, when that application is launched. So I'm going to pick YouTube for now. Okay, I'm going to tap on done. So if this app is opened, then I'm going to tap on next, I'm going to click on plus, And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down. All right. I'm gonna look for display settings. At the bottom here, we have the motion smoothness and screen resolution option. So I'm gonna tap on this guy and what I'll do is I will choose standard resolution and I'm just gonna to stick to full high definition plus, I'm gonna click done. Okay, and then I'm gonna click done one more time, give the routine a name, I'm gonna say YouTube 60, click on done. Now I have that routine running again. When I launch the application right now, we have 120 hertz set up on the phone. If I launch the YouTube application, that thing is gonna start to run at the bottom automatically, all right? So right now, my phone is actually running at 60 hertz, saving me battery as I'm watching YouTube videos. Because at, with YouTube videos, you really can't go above 60 frames per second Anyway, so what's the point? Now, the good thing is when I exit the application, I don't have to close it out, just exit the application, minimize it, that routine stops. So right now I'm running at 120 hertz. So without having to go into the settings and changing these settings uh, manually, I can automate these things and save myself some battery life. Now, again, this is just one example, okay? With the latest update, we did have a lot of things that were added into our triggers and events. So again, if I choose a trigger, let's just say if I go down here again, app opened, uh, Asphalt 9, when I run that game next, then I'm gonna click on plus and let's do something sensible. So when I launch a game, the Asphalt 9, uh, first and foremost, I don't wanna be disturbed. So I'm gonna say, turn on, do not disturb. 
That's number one. I can add more by tapping plus. And also what I want is I want the maximum volume. So as soon as I launch the game, I want the volume to just go max. So I can go to media volume, tap on this one, okay? And what I can do is I can maximize the Bluetooth audio or the wired headphones. Now this is popping up because I do have Bluetooth enabled right now. Uh, so that's been added. And let's say uh, plus one more thing that makes sense and go over here to screen resolution. Let's say that I want to go crazy and play that maximum resolution when that phone, uh, when that application is launched. Provided the application application supports this resolution, I can click on done now and I can say done. Now you want to make sure you don't turn this off. You can turn it off that it's not going to activate automatically. You turn this on, it is not active right now, but will activate when you launch the game. So some of these features are existing, but with the brand new update, okay, let's go to the uh, update window here, right over here, we have some new events, triggers added to the actual routines. Uh, we have the network mode, the focus mode, the motion smoothness, and the screen resolution mode that were added. And also uh, we have major bug fixes. And also we have added some actions and recommendation cards for Galaxy Buds Live. Okay, so again, if I go back into those uh, Bixby routines and if I tap on if, let's just click plus, let's just pick one example. I'm just doing this randomly. Tap on next. If you tap on plus here, uh, there's new things here. So this is in fact new. The focus mode options are new. It should be somewhere over here. Let's see. We have the focus mode right now. It's disabled, but it is new. And then we also have some brand new uh, events and triggers for Galaxy Buds Plus and Galaxy Buds Live. But the bottom line is now it is even more enhanced and you can create an infinite number of automated options for your phone, whether that's to save your battery or maximize your entertainment. Now look over here. If you go to discover, you do have a bunch of existing routines that you can use. Most of these already existed, uh, but the new stuff is this one over here. Okay, again. Uh, network mode, focus mode, motion smoothness, and screen resolution. And of course, we have some Galaxy Buds Plus and Galaxy Buds Live uh, event updates in the Bixby routines. Fantastic little feature. Now, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.